No vote, no grumble. How apropos tonight as every vote counts. Right now we're going to head over to Colleen Hanabusa's headquarters to take a listen. We have been outspent on. Think about how many months we were without any kind of coverage on the, in terms of buying political ads because we didn't have the money. Think about a campaign that didn't have all of the people from the mainland coming in and dumping all that money. We have to thank, of course, Emily's List, which has always stood by us. But think about all the different ads. Think about the ads you just saw in the newspaper at the last minute. Think about all the emails that have gone out against us. And yet, we are in the position that we are in. Thank you, thank you. Kenny, don't forget to say happy birthday to Jessica. I remember, it's her birthday too. That's Kenny's wife, Jessica. You know, it's been an amazing campaign. A campaign where we've had people take positions because they feel that this is so important to Hawaii's future. People like Senator Akaka, Governor Ariyoshi, Governor Cayetano, Chief Justice Moon, Michael Chan, just to, name, just to name a few. We've had so many great supporters. But you know what? The greatest supporters are all of you. All of you who worked at the headquarters under the leadership of Auntie Tony right in front here. And all of you who did what no one could probably expect a campaign to do, which is to get us to the point there are still three precincts out there, and it's 1,800 votes that is the difference. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? This is, this is a United States Senate race. The one to determine who would succeed Senator Inouye, because after all, this is the first time the people have had a say. But if there's anything that the people have spoken, all people have spoken, is the fact, is the fact that they did want to say. And however this comes out, however this comes out, this campaign, as less money as you could possibly get, less of the mainland endorsements that you could possibly get, that this campaign would bring it to just a short 1,800 votes. What kind of statement is that? It is an amazing statement. It is a by amazing statement of all of you. And, and what election do you remember that had a hurricane on it and another hurricane coming? I mean, this, this, has been, this has been an election that we've had so many things that we've all had to contend with. But the one thing I will never forget is the fact that all of you, the part of the Hanabusa team, all you did was you linked arms and we said it doesn't matter that they have more money. It doesn't matter that they tell everybody that they have more polls than their polls are saying we're so far behind. You know, it's interesting. I've been watching the news and they say, well, we know that this was going to be a close election. I said, gee, I don't remember them ever saying that. I, rem <laughs> I remember them saying, you know, we're 17 points ahead. Or, or, you know, all these other polls are wrong. I remember them saying that. And I know our perspective of it was that this was always going to be a close race because we believed and we heard what the people had to say. And that is what this election was about. It was about what the people had to say. It is the positions that the people took. And, you know, I was hoping that we would be able to be here and say money didn't matter. And in a way, it didn't. 
We look at David Ige's results, money did not matter. But in this particular situation, maybe it did matter. But still, think about it. Outspent two to one, and we are still this close. This election is not over. This election is not over. It is far from over. It is far from over. No one's going to call this election because it, anything can happen. We've got three precincts still out. Two of them are, of course, in Pune. And we all know that we won't know what happens there until after this election, after tonight. Matter of fact, we don't even know if they have ballots yet. But can you imagine? Can you imagine for the people in Pune what it must feel like that they are going to be able to call the results of this election? <laughs> that must be. You know, for the neighbor islanders who always feel that what we do on Oahu is that we are always Honolulu-centric, it must give them such a great feeling to know that they can give it to us. <laughs> and there must be a lesson in that, too. And no matter how it comes out, the one thing I hope that all elected officials remember in a statewide race is that everyone matters. And this was a chat that someone on Maui, actually Jason Madera said on Maui, he said, we matter. We matter. Neighbor islands, we matter. And this is going to be that election that shows exactly that. Those three precincts that are still out, one on Kauai, two on the big island, it clearly says, we matter. They matter. And don't you ever forget it. And I think that's a great lesson in this election. A great lesson. So I'm not sure yet how we continue this. I really don't know. I know we're going to still be here to at least see the Kauai, I think it's Waimea, uh, that precinct counted, and see where we come out in that. But the other two precincts, I have no idea. But I do know that there is enough votes there to determine the outcome of this election. So all I can say... All I can say to all of you is mahalo for an amazing, amazing run. This has been an amazing election. I have met so many people from so many parts of this state. And I got to tell you, I know, I know that Hawaii is a very special place. And I know what makes it so special are all of you and the people of all of our islands, of all of our counties. And that is what's going to continue to mold Hawaii's future. I want to thank all of you for giving me so much of yourselves. I always tell people that no matter how an election comes out, it is, it is never it is never an easy thing when you look at your supporters who have given you more than you can ever understand. And this is an election like that. You have all given me so much, so much. It's a debt that I could never repay because you don't need to do it. Think about it. You don't need to do it. You don't need to, to sign wave in the hot sun. You don't need to walk. You don't need to do all of these things. You don't need to come to the headquarters and call. You don't need to, to go there. 
and stuff envelopes or do anything like that. You don't need to do that, but yet you choose to do that. And you choose to do that for basically one reason, because you believe that I represent the future and the Hawaii you want and that you trust me to do that. I want you to know that I will never forget that. And like I said, the night is still young. This election is still going. So let's hunker down again. Mahalo, everyone. Mahalo. No concession speech, not yet, from Colleen Hanabusa. And why would she concede trailing Brian Schatz by just 1,879 votes? If my University of Hawaii mathematics is correct. So, Colleen Hanabusa, not ready to throw in the towel.